Hey everyone, welcome to a Strict Tempo and Vox Sinistra. And we are getting started here um, a little bit later than intended. I had <clears throat> just like mountains of technical issues today <laughs> um, with pretty much every aspect of, of the presentation, but we made it. And thank you for joining in. <clears throat> So today is a special stream. I'm doing a fundraising stream. Um, you may have noticed it popping up on my stream the last few weeks. Um, basically, this is my intensive effort to move to Los Angeles and restart Strict Tempo in that area, um, doing live events again. So um, if you're unaware, I've been pretty much not doing events for like the last year here in Seattle. Um, because I intended to move down there a while ago, but have just been having trouble making the trip. Um, so now I actually have everything planned out. Um, I've got like a truck booked. I have a place. Um, so we're, we're really doing it this time. <laughs> Sorry for the fake out before. It's been frustrating and just kind of awkward to be stuck here that time. But um, I'm making it happen now. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a fundraiser to assist in, in making that happen and getting um, strict tempo events back up and running again. If you don't know, also, um, I'm soon launching strict tempo as a record label. I have all of the tracks mastered and ready to go for the first compilation album, which will be released on two CDs. It'll be like a double disc single release situation. And um, there's some really awesome tracks in there. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm actually going to include some um, teaser tracks in the set today. I'm not sure how many I'm going to play, but they'll just be surprise sprinkled in. So you'll just have to guess which ones those are. I'm not going to tell you because it's like a surprise, you know. But um, <laughs> they, there will be a couple sprinkled unreleased tracks from the compilations up in there. Um, and yeah, I'll keep all updated with the release date. Um, things have gotten a little bit delayed due to the chaos over here, but, um, I'm hoping definitely by like June sometime in June will be the release date. And, um, I'm hoping also to release a second compilation album, maybe a little bit shorter, just like a regular sized comp by the end of the year as well. Um, it turns out managing that many artists, like half of them are remixes too. So I had to coordinate the remixes between the original artist and the remixer. So it's just like double the amount of people to talk to too. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, the next one already has some really awesome artists lines up. So stay tuned. Um, this one has a very mixed vibe. It's like um, EBM, industrial, and then there's like some more dark wave. There's some like a couple like techno-ish electro sort of tracks on the darker end of things. And um, yeah, lots of stuff happening there. Even a couple of Italo tracks, um, some 80s vibes mixed with sort of like a modern, modern vibe. Okay, cool. Um, I, I picked out like almost 150 tracks. <laughs> and I had a little bit of like a, a Grimes inspired record box malfunction earlier, which is the main delay for the show today. But um, I got it all in there. Um, I just ha was having issues like transferring the files. Y you don't really need to know this, but yeah, uh, not an actual BPM issue. I don't, I don't even know how that happened, honestly. I don't know how you would double the BPMs in record box and not notice or anything, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> the meme of the week mentioned Okay, um, <laughs> trying to think if I have other announcements. Oh, so for the fundraiser though, yeah, that's important. Um, I have a GoFundMe. We actually just officially hit the halfway mark like an hour ago. So yes, thanks a lot. Um, it is like time sensitive. I only have like a week to assemble the funds. So I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit in panic mode at this point. Um, so just, just so you know, um, but I also have, in addition to the GoFundMe link, I'm not sure exactly which payment methods they offer on that. I have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. I have crypto tips if you're feeling futuristic. And um, 
also, what else do I have? I stream elements, chip link, which also works for some international stuff. And I also have merch. Oh yeah, I should mention my merch for sure. Um, so I'm, I'm rocking the new Vox Sinister t-shirt right now. Yeah, I'm wearing a t-shirt with my face on it. <laughs> Doing it. Um, it is red and white on a black t-shirt. And uh, the print is really high quality. Um, Ink Knife Press in Seattle, a uh, trans woman owned business. Happy to support. Um, she does really, really quality work and actually made the last Strict Tempo tees in the soft style edition. So, so if you have commented the, that those tees have lasted forever and that's because of the, the ink is just really like top caliber and just like really prof profesh. So expect excellence from the tees. And also, I, I didn't, didn't bring a tote bag over here, unprepared, um, but this same design is available in a tote bag as well. And um, yeah, I also have a handful of the original run of Strict Tempo tees left, mostly in size medium. I have a couple left in size small too, and those are both like the soft style edition, which is like the, but the really comfy one. And then the heavy cotton one is more like a, well, it's a heavier material. It's like a thicker cotton. Um, it's, it's a tad less soft, but it is thicker than the other one. Some people prefer that actually. It's kind of like a more boxy shape. Um, this is actually a heavy cotton. So, um, so now you know what it looks like, I guess, <laughs> except in a different design. Um, but these are, I went with the heavy cotton this time because I actually, I personally prefer it. Um, the thickness and like the shape versus the other ones, but personal preference. Okay. I also still have enamel pens and stickers. Yeah. Stickers. Um, oh, I have stickers right here. I always have like a pack of these just laying around somewhere. This is the sticker. Um, and I made them available in several different, um, packs basically. You can buy them a single or I think it's like a five pack, a seven pack or a 10 pack. And there are accompanying discounts for getting more of them as well. Oh, I also have a made to order store where you can find, I'm trying to like, I don't know, this camera angle. I'm like jumping out of the, I'm just going to slouch. All right. Um, <laughs> um, you can also find this design in a sticker edition on the stream elements made to order merch store as well as an iPhone case. That's right. My face on an iPhone case. That's a thing. And um, some other strict tempo designs up in there too, um, including mugs for both this design and the strict tempo design. I love the mugs. Um, I don't have mine over here right now, but uh, it's just like a standard white coffee mug, but it's, it's like a fun, different option. So yeah, lots of merch. Um, that's also a cool way to help if you want something in return. And uh, my merge orders have basically like paused for a minute during this like crazy week of stuff. So um, expect those to be shipped sometime early May. Just a heads up, if you're still waiting for a merge order from me, <laughs> it will not go out until the, the beginning of next month. Just a heads up. Okay, um, what else we got here? We had beans over here for earlier for a cameo. I'm gonna lure her back with some nip here in a minute. So <laughs> look forward to that. Cat time. I certainly am. Um, still, this is like weird mic situation. My mic is always too quiet, so I turned it up more and now I'm peeking on here and it's stressing me out. Um, but anyway, I guess it's better to be too loud so you can actually hear me than not loud enough mumbling. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, um, well, I have like probably at least four plus hours of music to play. So I'm going to start now.
have a face as long as I don't feel as hurt again. I don't want to fall.
Imagine with stars in the sky. tuning in oh beans purge up my voice um, <laughs> um i've been going for a little over an hour i think so i thought i'd drop it and say hello um and looks like my mic is like very quiet maybe um what's going on here 
I carefully adjusted everything before I started. It was like peaking, so I turned it down. Now it's too quiet, so I guess we just can't win. Um, so this is a fundraising stream so that I can restart my strict tempo events in real life in the Los Angeles area. Um, I only have about a week or so to assemble the rest of the funds. I have a GoFundMe page and I have direct tips as usual on PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. I was like, what's going on with the treble here? I think I turned the high end all the way up on the, my EQ, <laughs> giving myself helium voice, perhaps. Um, she's got a high-pitched voice tonight. Um, yeah, all the places that are normally up there as well. Um, big thanks to those of you who have contributed so far. And we're about halfway to my goal mark. So... There will also be another stream. I'm not sure exactly what time yet on Thursday featuring guest sets and another set for me. Probably just like stuff that I didn't get to in this one and more. <laughs> it's going to be a small, a shorter set though for me. Um, this one is of, of epic proportions really. Um, we're not even like through a tiny fraction of the playlist that I made. Only up to 120 BPM just now goes all the way to like 160 and that's like uh, mostly like sort of minimal wave post-punk type stuff not really um like hard techno 160 bpm um did you hear about chechnya uh <laughs> banning bpm is past like 118 or something it's like you could only play music between like 84 and 118 or something like that it's like demanding the return of new beat but like in a fascist way but anyway <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. They demanded even their, like, local, like, folk musicians re rewrite their music to be a different BPM. So everything's going to be, like, really wonky sounding, I guess. Just, like, witch house style to slow down. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, all over the BPM map tonight. And we've got a guest DJ Tuxedo Beans in the house. Um, she came on before, like, I started when I was getting set up over here, which I also did all on a camera, which was an exciting bonus for some of you, I'm sure. <laughs> now, I might do that um, before I start, but I haven't streamed in quite a while from home. I think I streamed, I recorded a set from a venue last, I don't even remember which one that was at this point. Uh, like, oh, I guess it was not that long ago, <laughs> only a few weeks ago. Um, I did, like, a, an industrial techno set at the Mercury a couple of weeks ago and that's actually up on YouTube already as well as my sets I DJ'd again like a couple of weeks before that at the Mercury that's also up there for EBM day and yeah I'm slowly uploading some more of my archives I basically just have like a zillion sets recorded so they're, they're slowly coming in from like long ago as well I have a YouTube premiere tomorrow um, for the old school electronic music fest the second set i did for that event um i i don't think i was happy with it at the time so i never put it up in the archives but i listened back to it and i was like this is fine <laughs> i'm uh i'm a little a little particular about things sometimes but um it was like a belgian new beat set which is kind of difficult to mix a lot of the time there's a lot of wonky samples and off beats anyway so that's like all old school 80s early 90s stuff mostly new beat um, so if, if you're a New Beat fan, um, which I guess this air break is devoted to New Beat, uh, <laughs> check that out. Tomorrow on YouTube, I think I have it set to premiere at 12 p.m. noon Pacific time. That's usually when I do premieres there, around like 11, 12. Um, but yeah, uh, other news, if you missed my announcement earlier, I've been sneaking in compilation tracks from the upcoming Strict Tempo CD compilation, which is set to come out sometime in June. I don't have the exact release date yet um, due to the current chaos. But um, <laughs> as soon as I figure other things out, um, I'm going to have like a set release date. I'll announce that with the artwork and all of that good stuff. Uh, but it's going to be a two CD compilation, including lots of really cool artists, um, which I'm going to keep it all a mystery right now who's on there but I did play three tracks from that already in the set so if there was stuff that you've never heard before that you didn't recognize at all perhaps it was that or more than likely not it probably wasn't that but 
there were three tracks in there sne- uh, sneakily um, played, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put like the names or artists or anything. Maybe the artists, but not the tracks or anything in the <laughs> in the tra- in the track list when I post that later on YouTube. It's gonna just be unreleased. I'm doing that. But anyway, okay, thanks for tuning in, and I'm going to continue playing music now.
accepting the responsibility for the deaths of innocent people. If the war begins, as I fear it will. Now that's for their decision to take. But this is a quite unique debate in my parliamentary experience where we ask to share responsibility for a decision we won't really be taking with consequences for people who have no part to play in the brutality of the regime.
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Vox Anistra. You're tuned to District Champo, the fundraiser edition. And I'm going to be doing some more of these this week. Um, I just, I brought a lot of music. I, I picked like 150 tracks in here. <laughs> it's a lot. I think um, we're on track 68 right now. I'm not playing them in order or anything, and I've skipped a bunch. But um, we're somewhere in the middle, I guess. Um, but I'm not going to get through all of these today because we're already like about three hours into the set and I'll probably continue where I leave off today tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what time yet. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> check my social media accounts for more info, <laughs> maybe like 4 PM. I think earlier than that is kind of difficult. Um, and I want to do it while people are still awake, you know, that whole thing. If you're unaware, what am I fundraising for? Well, um, basically, I was given like a month to leave my current apartment because I'm on a month-to-month -month lease, and um, the owner wants to sell it. So <laughs> um, I am using this opportunity to scoot down to L.A. Um, and finally get my Strict Tempo series restarted there in the live event forum. And... Um, yeah, so basically that's what it's for. I'll have a GoFundMe set up to help with the moving costs, which are exorbitant, quite expensive. And um, I also have tip links, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and Crypto Tips. I also have a Stream Elements tip link for other international options. All right, we just hit the half mark way officially on the goal today, so... The pressure is on. I've got like a little over a week. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. Things kind of took like a like slightly trippy, acidy EBM turn there for a bit. Um, and I started tonight off with like a really heavy, like industrial bass, dark synth vibe. So we've been a little bit all over the map. Um, maybe I'll go for a slightly different vibe tomorrow. And then also um, on Thursday, I'll have guests as well on another stream. So two more streams planned this week at least. So stay tuned for more. Um, I have merch. I'm wearing my t-shirt right now. Actually, this just came out. Um, the Vox Anistra glitch design uh, by Deepless. is the name of the person who formatted the picture. And... Um, yeah, it says Vox Anistra in like glitchy font on the top. Yeah, I'm wearing my own shirt with my face on it right now because I'm cool like that. Um, <laughs> and um, I also have this design in a tote bag, also my big cartel merch store. And I have other merch stores as well. I have the um, Bandcamp merch store, which is kind of like the spillover from big cartel, just the stuff that I have in stock, um, but didn't have enough room to put on big cartel because they have like an item limit. Anyway, um, there's the leftover strict tempo tees and mostly small and medium for the soft style cut. I have a handful of the heavy cotton ones in large and extra large. I think I might have no more larges actually, but I think I have a couple larges or extra larges. Anyway, um, only one 3XL left in this design also. Just a heads up. I think I have a handful of 2XLs left too. And plenty of the rest. Okay. Um, and then on my Stream Elements merch store, that's like the made-to-order store. And it's also international. Um, I have this design in a sticker and a phone case now. And also a mug, coffee mug. And then I also have the Strict Tempo design in, a, in the mug as well. And um, on a variety of like inverted designs. So uh, there's like a long sleeve, but it's like white. Um, so I'll the secret white strict tempo merch line is over there it's like black ink on white garments anyway inverted style okay we, do we have any uh, words from the bee nut gallery over here she's like how dare you put that in my face uh, beans has graced us with her presence for most of the set she was just w waiting for the opportunity um, to lay in front of the mixer she, she's missed it she came over here Pretty much right as soon as I started setting up, she was like, oh, it's sleep on the mixer time. <laughs> it's her favorite time. 
Okay, um, I'm going to get going now. We're going to bump up the BPMs a little bit more. And I might go for like another hour. And then I'll save the rest for tomorrow. Okay, thanks.
everyone <laughs> and thanks for watching i'm box Industra, and this is a pop-up edition of strict tempo featuring just me for fundraising purposes and um i think <laughs> i feel like i'm so high-pitched today it must be um <laughs> I, I must have the high eq up too high um, Vox Slightly Helium-esque edition. Um, hello there. Um, yeah, so basically I'm having a fundraiser so that I can move to LA to restart my shows there. And the goal is now a little bit past halfway, so we're making good progress, but I'm a little bit in crunch time mode, especially since during the set I realized how expensive gas is going to be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I don't drive, so... I was not anticipated, anticipating that uh, approximate figure. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, the GoFundMe is there. And then I also have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and Crypto Tips. Um, if you want to support me, continue continuing just in general. Just basically, if, if I don't hit this goal, I'm going to have to, I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. But... <laughs> It's going to be a mess. There will be no streams because I won't have internet or a computer or any place <laughs> to stay. So yeah. Um, cool. Oh, cool. But yeah. Oh, I also have merch. I should mention that again. Um, I have my own t-shirts now. It's the first Vox Nistra merch um, that I've ever released, actually. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, honestly, because merch is expensive to print probably is the reason but um yes i've got the glitch design and then i also have a, a matching tote bag style and this is on my big cartel merch site and um i also have other merch on the strict tempo uh band camp store basically i have three different merch stores now um band camp is kind of a spillover from the big cartel so stuff that's pre-printed and shipped by me and by the way, if you ordered merch recently, you won't receive it until like early next month. Just a heads up. And um, over there is also the remaining number of strict tempo tees. I mainly have small and mediums in the soft style design. I have possibly one large. I don't know. I'd have to dig and maybe see. And then I have a handful of heavy cotton extra larges. And that's it for those ones. Um, mostly small and medium left. Mostly medium, really. I don't know. Um, just worked out that way. And then also on the Stream Elements merch store, I have made to order designs. So I have mugs. I have a Strict Tempo mug. And I also have this on a mug now. And I have stickers for this design. The sticker for Strict Tempo, which is actually right here, is over on the Big Cartel site, as well as the Strict Tempo enamel pins that I released a while ago. Um, and over on the Stream Elements store, you'll also find the Somewhat limited edition. Uh, I just kind of never took them down. They're still up there, but they won't be up there forever. <laughs> the black ink on white garment editions of the Strict Tempo Teeth design are up there too. And in different silhouettes, I have like, there's like a hoodie and maybe it doesn't have a hood. It's like a pullover sweatshirt, um, a long sleeve, a tank top, woman's cut, and a regular tee in that color scheme over there. And that's directly shipped by Stream Elements. Not me. <laughs> okay, so that's the guide to my merch. Got a lot going on there. And yeah, I'm going to put this set up on YouTube probably on Monday if it's not um, <clears throat> banned by the YouTube copyright gods. And I also have, speaking of YouTube, a premiere going on tomorrow at, I think I said it for noon. I usually set them for noon. Pacific time. And that is a set that I recorded like two years ago and never archived because I wasn't happy with that at the time. But I, I don't know. It's fine. I'm putting it up. <laughs> Given some space, I'm like, this is this is all right. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know why I didn't put it up the first time. Well, Belgian new beat is kind of hard to mix, so I think I was like unhappy with the mixing. It wasn't like, you know, elevating the tracks enough or something. But it sounds fine. Anyway, so if you like old school '80s, like. Belgian new beat, um, very specific. If you don't know what that is, it's a, a genre that blends like acid house, synth pop, 
EBM and industrial and a little bit of a tele disco too. There's kind of like a, it's like a medley of eighties dance genres mixed with EBM industrial. So that's what's happening there. It's considered a genre that directly predates rave music in Europe. So in Belgium, there was new beat and then it slightly evolved into a faster form of new beat called hard beat, which I also really enjoy. And then that sort of branched out into more techno oriented styles more trance-oriented styles like um, schizo, <laughs> giving you a full music lesson now. Um, so that's kind of like, it's like pre-rave European stuff. Um, but I find that area of electronic music really interesting too, because it has a lot of influences from alternative music too. But anyway, um, <laughs> lots of uh, sampling going on too, which is always fun. So yeah, a couple years after New Beat came full-blown rave music in the early 90s. It's considered a direct um, precursor to, to those styles. All right, <laughs> there's your music lesson for the night. Um, you know, Beans is like, I'm tired of your shit. I'm over here now. She joined us for most of the set this time, which was quite kind of her, really. <laughs> but I think she was just trolling for food the whole time. I fed her, and now she's like, I'm over here now. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'll put this up on YouTube later. I'll put it up on the Mixcloud, the Soundcloud. Um, I don't know if I'll do that right away. Um, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I have time for. Uh, I'm going to put the, put it up on YouTube right away, but the audio archives will probably come a little bit later. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, tomorrow I'm going to go live again. I'm going to play a bunch of stuff that I didn't play in this set because I picked out like 150 tracks and I definitely didn't play them all wasn't planning to play them all but I just had so many left over and a lot of good stuff um, and got to get that goal moving up so <laughs> I'm gonna go again tomorrow at 4 p.m pacific time um, sorry I started late today uh, I haven't done a live set here in my studio home studio home slash studio <laughs> uh, and like a while I don't, I don't actually know when the last one that I recorded was off the top of my head. The last few sets I think I've done have been more like um, recorded from venues. Which, um, speaking of which, I do have, I still have to put up the Black Cat Friday event set also. That video was kind of like hard for me to edit, so that's why it's taken so long. But I might do that this week, I'm trying to do all the YouTube uploads. Okay. Um, but yeah, you'll see some visualizers and other things going up there this week too. And I'll air them in my sort of 24 seven rebroadcast mode here as well. Um, you'll probably be seeing the set before my proper live set tomorrow as well. In case you missed it, you can catch up with, um, whatever part of it you didn't see. Okay. So now, you know, that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. Oh, thank you for the tips. Also, <laughs> saving beans from homelessness fund. <laughs> yes, please do. Um, I don't know if you want a direct shout out because your name is on here, but thank you. And then also Cthulhu in chat right now. Super amazing. You've been so awesome with the donations. <laughs> I'm like blown away. So I, I really appreciate it. Um, it's like almost like 10% of what's up there right now. <laughs> Yay, Cthulhu. All right. Um, well, I guess it's only fitting that I have an actual Cthulhu emote. You've got your own emote in my channel. <laughs> the uh, classic Cthulhu rave. Okay. Um, and also, some other people tipped earlier. I don't know what your screams, screen names are. Oh, thank you, Horizon, also for chipping in. And, oh yeah, I loved Malode earlier today, um, who, spoiler alert, will also be on the co Strict Temple compilation. Um, we also had, is it John? This is like a, it's like a Swedish name or something. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you also. Um, and I think there was also another person named John, too, who was in chat earlier. Um, exploring Seattle. Enjoy. Um, okay, cool. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I think that's all I've got for you.
uh, just general appreciation and such. But yeah, so I'm going to flip it back to the cycling of um, just like me in the past now. So I sort of, uh, I rotated it from the music videos back to me because, um, well, honestly, it tends to get a better response, like the more people are watching and I need all the eyes right now. So <laughs> you will see me in the past, in between me and the present. That's what's happening on the channel now. If you're like, what the hell is going on in this channel? She's like coming in with all di these different outfits nonstop. And she's like, her hair is different every time. Yeah, my hair looks different almost every time. So there's that. <laughs> now you know. All right, now I'm going into full on ramble mode. And I'm going to hit it back into the uh, rebroadcast-a-thon. Until tomorrow, again, I'll be live again here at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Mark those calendars. And also, I'll be on YouTube at noon Pacific time for about an hour. I believe that set is actually exactly an hour long. So if you want to say hi in the YouTube chat, I will also be there then. Okay. All right. Thanks again. And I'm, I'm really leaving now. I'm going now. All right. Bye.